Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 17.3, the latest update coming out from Apple to the iPhones making iOS 17 way better than it currently is. Now, lastly, Apple has released iOS 17.3 Beta 3 after they released beta 2 and they pulled it due to some problems was causing some devices to actually break and go into a boot loop they pulled that away and as we even talked on a previous video they didn't re-release that beta but they just went straight to beta 3 which is really interesting because this beta is the last beta that will be released for iOS 17.3. Now you can see the size of the update here. It should be around 600 megabytes. Of course, that's always different on different devices and different based on which software you have currently installed on your iPhone. Now the build number for this update, which also leads us to believe that this will be the last beta, of course, before the RC version is 21D5044A. Ending with an A, it indicates that this is the last beta before we move to the RC version next week. And then, of course, the public release. But we're going to talk about that in details in a few minutes now. Now, first of all, should you update to beta 3 or not? I know a lot of people that have been updating to iOS 17.3 beta 1. They're concerned whether you should update or not now that we had that problem with beta 2 and you might lose all of your data. Well, this is safe. It has been like out for two days now and it didn't cause any problems for any users. So it's safe to update. If you're on beta one, you can go ahead and just update to iOS 17.3 beta three. And now let's talk about what's new with beta three and iOS 17.3. Well, first of all, we have a modem update with iOS 17.3 beta three, which is really great news because it probably will help and will improve connectivity on your device. So again, if you're on beta one, make sure you have updated your device to the latest beta, which is of course this last one, beta three. Next up, we're moving to the music app. Now with the music app on iOS 17.3, we have quite a lot of changes. The, the new playlist where you can collaborate with people, but we also have some other changes as well, like the volume slider here. When the volume is all the way up, on your device on the music app you will notice that if you try to press the volume up button it actually stretches here and it looks kind of cool it has that nice new effect also we have new reactions for music playlists when you collaborate with someone someone adds a song you can now of course react to it with an emoji and now of course these are part of beta 1 as well but they have been improved and they are working properly now with beta 3 you can see right there we have a reaction and now it even shows a reaction on the list of the songs here so you can see right there there's a song and you can also see the reaction just right there at the download button there's a new splash screen on the camera app once you open it for the first time for the new Apple Vision Pro video. So you can see right here, it shows you what you need to do. This has also been part of the beta two that was pulled, but now it reappears with beta three once you open and you enable this feature for the first time. And it also has some changes. It's not the exact one like the one that was on beta two. So basically it shows you here what you need to do for the best results. Keep your iPhone in landscape orientation and stable while recording. Of course, all you have to do here is continue to dismiss this and continue shooting your spatial videos. And of course, we have a new feature on iOS 17.3 as well called stolen device protection. This is now enabled and it, it is working properly with beta three. You also have a button here to turn it off, which you can authenticate with face ID and once you have this authenticated, here's what you will see. So basically security delay requires to change stolen device protection. It basically has a delay like an hour. So you can start it right here and you can see the countdown right there. So it starts that one hour count countdown, which you need to actually turn this off. There are also some updates for the general app settings. If you go here, you will see some new changes, some minor changes. There are also changes to the notifications for the journal app. Of course, this is a new app and with every update, you can expect to see new updates to the app as well as new updates to the settings of the journal app. 
Now, one thing that's really interesting, you know what, if you go to privacy and security here, your iPhone has a lockdown mode, which you can enable from here. Now, one like smaller change that you will notice is that if you have enabled the lockdown mode, it will also actually disable the control center completely. So just keep that in mind. If you wanna enable this, you won't also be able to use the game center feature. Now, probably one of the best things of iOS 17.3 is the performance that you will get on your device. The performance is amazing. It has been great with beta one, and now it's even better with this last beta. So you can see right here, we have the scores, Geekbench 6, and you can see right here, the single core score is at 2,974, while on beta one, it was 2,969. So we have a small increase there and a bigger increase here on the multi-core score. So we're almost at 7,500 here at 7,494, while it was 7,455 with beta one. Most likely this will even increase more in the next couple of days once the update sets in on the device. And of course, with the final release, I can expect to have even better results with iOS 17.3. So when can we expect this update to be released to the public? Well, currently we're probably on the last beta, so I would expect Apple to actually release the RC version to the devs next week, most likely on the 16th of January, maybe even the 17th. Those are the two dates. But I would expect Apple to release the last version, which is released to the devs, of course, before moving on and releasing this update to the public. Now, if you'd want to update to the RC version, you can do it, of course, if you're on beta, but there's, just keep in mind that you won't get a public update on your device. It's basically the same update, but if you just don't want to install the RC, you want to move it to the public, but to the public release, just make sure to turn off the beta updates from the settings app. And for the final release, I would expect January 22nd to be be the date when Apple will actually release this update to the public. It is quite an important update. As you can see here, there are some cool improvements on performance and stability. For the battery life, we will have to wait and see once this beta has gone maybe through a week and see how it performs. And then also the public of the public release of iOS 17.3, how it will perform on battery, because just updating every week to new betas, you can't really tell how the battery life is, but it's not that bad as it looks now, but hopefully it will be even better with the final release, which again will most likely happen on January 22nd. So what's next? Of course, iOS 17.4. I would actually expect Apple to release a beta for iOS 17.4 the same week that they will release this update to the public. Most likely somewhere on Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe even Thursday, we will see the first beta of iOS 17.4, which should be a beta that will have way more new features than this one that has just that is of currently being released but probably that one will have way more as taking a look back at the history this is what apple usually does one beta will be just some features and mostly like fixes and improvements other betas are betas that have way more new features we'll have to wait and see for that most likely it will be released the same week as the public release of ios 17.3 so that's basically it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to smash the like button subscribe for more ios 17.3 videos and i will see you on the next one